Okay, so for the sake of time, um, I have already prepped my eye with um, Max Painterly Paint Pot. Okay, and then next what you're going to need is a regular white pencil. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. It can be um, any white jumbo pencil. And you're going to highlight the bottom of the brow and all of the top area above the crease. Just follow along under the brow and fill that in evenly. Okay, so your eyes should look like this. And just kind of with your finger, um, doesn't matter which one, just kind of smudge it and blend it a little. Like that, just so it's not too harsh. Okay. Next, you're going to take a matte eyeshadow. I'm using Sephora's um, makeup line in matte number 9. And it's just a matte black, like that. You're going to take your choice of a black eyeshadow. And I use a sponge tip applicator for this just because it holds more product. Okay. Now, you just want this all on the bottom half of the crease. Okay, and once you have your eye already with um, the black eyeshadow, grab a bit more product, and now we're going to draw that line out in the outer corner. So just kind of tilt it to the side a bit, and just draw a very light line, it doesn't have to be too harsh like that. And then you're going to bring color in from that line, like so. And you're just going to fill in a little bit above your crease line with that black. Okay, and stop right there. Okay. Next, you're going to grab a blending brush. I'm using ELS blending brush. And you're just going to grab that color and bring it inward here. And bring it up just a bit. Not too much. Okay. Now I'm going to be using Max 52. I'm not 100% sure. And you're going to grab any white or off-white pigment that you have. I'm using Hips um, Pigment and Restless. So you just grab uh, a good amount of product and then you just grab the lid and you push your brush into that lid just so that you don't have any fallout okay tap some off okay and then you just apply this over the white eyeliner that we applied earlier and make sure you bring it down into the inner tear duct of the eye like so Okay, now go in with that blending brush again and just bring that color inwards to the inner corner of your eye. And you're going to bring that color up as well. Now this look does take a lot of blending. Okay, I'm just going to go in now with the blending brush and grab more product. Just two or three dabs is all you need. 
and just go over all of the bottom that you had already previously applied follow that corner and bring the color in not completely into the inner corner of your eye about halfway now with a regular penciled eyeliner go ahead and fill in that waterline And I like to do the top as well. With this same pencil, you're going to go ahead and follow the lash line. And make sure it's nice and dark. Okay, now I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner and I'm using NYC's liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to line the top of my eye. Now you can't really see this just because it's black on black but I like to use it just in case I miss anything near the top lash line. and then go ahead and follow this along the bottom lash line as well. Okay. So now I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to go and apply um, my choice of false lashes. You can go ahead and apply your choice of false lashes. It really doesn't matter. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this should be your finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye.